Oh, I am breaking out. So I just checked my phone and realized my friend from Colorado that was gonna be checking up on my house while I was gone. Just messaged me and told me that the garage door is wide open. We are on our way to Wyoming. The Powerball is at 700 million and I read yesterday that I have a higher chance of getting struck by lightning twice or I have one chance in 292 million of winning. So I figure they're saying there's a chance. So here we are. <laughs> We're gonna go, we're gonna go buy some tickets. So we were in Utah for the past week. We figured the closest place is Evanston, Wyoming. So we are driving through the desert. It's only like half hour from where we are, so it shouldn't be too bad, maybe 45 minutes. Well, we are here. We just picked the random spot, like right off the highway. We weren't really sure where the heck they sell tickets around here. So we just picked this little like liquor store. Maybe they'll have the winning numbers. And we're back in the car. So, Elvis got to pick out some numbers. <laughs> Look how cozy he looks, his little paw just dangling around. <laughs> so cute. So now we're headed back to Utah. Yay! Whew. Okay, so I am freaking out. My friend just messaged me and uh, she was going to be checking my house while I was out of town. I've been out of town for one week and I figured like, I thought that I had some mail maybe, um, even though I'm having it forwarded because I'm gone for an entire month. And maybe I had a package sitting at the front doorstep. So I told her to come by and just check on things and um, just make sure everything was fine. She sends me a video and she tells me that the garage door is wide open. So I'm freaking out. I'm in the middle of Wyoming. I can't like figure out exactly what's going on. And I'm thinking that someone's like, broken into my house. I mean, I locked it all up. All the doors are locked. I had even propped something against the side of the garage door, uh, the side door, so like no one could break in because I had my car in there, snowmobile, dirt bike, like, so all the expensive stuff was left in that garage. And we wanted to make sure no one would break in while we were gone, because I mean, an entire month, so. Anywho, so she stops by and she's like, the garage door is wide open. So I'm like, if that side door is still locked, how the hell is the garage door still open? So, uh, or is open at all? Like how did someone break in? So then we figure we probably left the garage door open. We had to come back a second time. We left, had the RV and everything. Um, and so everything was packed up. We drive off and we were getting it registered on our way out of town, but then we needed the title. So we had to come back home to get that title and I think that when we went in because we were so stressed out and driving back and forth and not paying attention I think we left it open somehow we managed to leave the freaking garage door open ah so it stayed open for an entire week if it was us like I don't know how else it could be possible that that door was open so it was our fault it's been a full week right now and because we were gone, we left the trash bins inside the garage with everything else because where we live, there's bears. And the bears will get into your trash if there's anything in there. Even if there's nothing in there, they'll knock it over and look for something. So pulled in the trash so they wouldn't make a mess and left the door open, meaning there's trash all over the driveway, all over. So she shows up, the trash is, you know, everywhere. So she took a video, sent it to me. And within 15 minutes of me getting that message, my landlord calls me. He lives right next door, but he's really old. So he hasn't been able to go over, but someone told him that the door is wide open. So he wanted us to lock it up. I don't know, cause he knows that we're out of town. Oh, it's just so frustrating. Cause then he's like asking me all these questions. So we're pretty sure that nobody broke in, nobody stole anything, but she's planning on coming back by to clean it up, make sure that the dirt bike and the snowmobile are still in there. I did see in the video that my car is still in there, so that's good. We just need to make sure that the rest of the things that could be taken away are still in there as well. Ugh, so stressful, because we're eight hours away. We can't do anything about it. You know, it's not like we're gonna drive back home just to shut the garage doors. So yeah, so she's gonna be helping us out with that thing. God. So we'll find out in a little bit if everything's still there 
and hopefully our landlord doesn't keep freaking out because uh, he was going to send someone over to do it. Um, but we're just going to tell him that everything's handled. I, oh, I don't even know. So it was a good start to the day. Uh, we'll keep you guys posted on what is actually going on and if everything is still there. Talk to you in a bit. So I forgot to finish vlogging last night. I was just so stressed out with the whole landlord situation and leaving the garage door open and all that stuff. The landlord ended up sending somebody over there to get it all handled while we're just out here. But now, I don't know, it just stirred up so much stuff that we might end up needing to move. Uh, as for the Powerball, I have some good news. I will not be getting struck by lightning anytime soon. Definitely not twice, <laughs> so. But I did win four dollars. So that's nice. <laughs> Next time we buy tickets, it'll probably just be because we're in Colorado again. It was just, you know, drove for fun. That's what I'll tell myself to feel better. <laughs> anyway, I will get you guys caught up on the next vlog. Mm -hmm.